Well, hey there guys, welcome back. So look at what I bring you guys today. I bring you guys the 2015 Nissan Altima. You guys have seen this in my previous videos, the preview of this car. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about this car. So we're gonna start rebuilding this car here. I wanna get this done here. Time frame wise, I wanna give myself about a week on it, okay? So we've got all the parts, as you guys can see, car obviously took a um, got some damage right here really don't know what it what it hit but then you know that damage is pretty minor right there okay in the bumper reinforcement but this right here this is this is the majority of the damage right here that we have to repair so anyways let's get on to what we've got so we've got some goodies for the car here as you can see we've got the core support with the radiator I've got the grill I've got the grill we've got the driver's side headlight right there I've got the crash bar then we've got the donor section there that we need to repair that corner okay so what we're gonna do is we're obviously gonna go ahead and cut this this pocket out right here since the majority of the damage is to this pocket right here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and draw out all these spot welds right here and get in there. Um, this this part right here is bent on the car, but we're going to go ahead and straighten that out. We're just going to go ahead and reuse this upper support right here. Um, but as you guys can see, we've got the donor piece, same color. All I'm going to do is we're going to get in there, we're going to dust some paint in it, and I'm going to go ahead and make the cut right here because you can see in the car all that metal is folded up right here so like I said I don't have any clue what this car hit but that's where we're at with this um, so getting into the parts um, you know, obviously all these parts we were able to get this last past weekend um, we were able I think for all this stuff headlight the donor section there, the, the frame section, I cut that myself. Uh, the crash bar, this little little plastic reinforcement piece right there, grill, and uh, the core support with the radiator. Um, I think total, these parts were right around three and a quarter. So that was a really good deal. Uh, just this crash bar, an aftermarket crash bar, see if I were to call Certifit, it's like $180. Then you've got these extension pieces right here that, you know, the, the reinforcement bar, or the crash bar, or the rebar, whatever you want to refer to it as. Um, these are about 50 bucks a piece. So we really did well on this. Uh, the core support there, I think, was about $140. Radiator is another $50. This upper little piece right here, this little curved piece, as you can see, that thing, holy cow, man, that thing was like $85. It's like, holy cow. Of course, the headlight here, um, we paid, I think this was like $30. And I didn't notice that, didn't notice this in the junkyard. But didn't notice that obviously it's got some damage right here. It's got a crack right here. You guys can see it. So what we're going to have to do is we're just going to have to get in there and uh, either plastic weld that or we're just going to have to get in there with some GB weld and weld that some GB weld and fix that that way um, but you know I'm not gonna go out and buy another headlight for this car I mean it's not really feasible for me to do okay so the next order of business would be to get everything get all this cut out and get this ready for that donor piece that we have over there okay so like I said we're probably gonna go ahead and cut it here cut it here drill out the spot welds and that's going to be it. Um, do you have a do you have an engine harness for the engine? Because obviously you can see uh, the connector going into the PCM is damaged. Um, obviously we can't re really repair that. If we had to, we probably could, but it's just not feasible. It needs a battery. Obviously we've got the new fuse box here. I've got a new fuse box, and then we've got the relay box. Um, so those parts were like. Engine harness is 135. No, engine harness was 105 dollars shipped. This fuse box with the relay box with the relays and fuses was another, I think, 35 dollars shipped. So you got a total right now 
of like 500 bucks. Plus, we were able to get a driver's side airbag off of eBay. The guy just had this generic airbag listed. I sent him an offer for 120 bucks, and he accepted my offer. So we got an airbag too for that. The only other thing we need is that we need the seat belts, but that yard down there, they've got about 15 of these down there. And um, so the next trip we make down there, we'll get both seat belts. So that way, we get the driver's side airbag, get both seat belts, and uh, then we'll send the module. I'll probably have it reset. It's like 40 bucks. It'd be probably be cheaper to do that. Because I noticed in the junkyard, I noticed all the crash modulars were missing out of these cars. So being that this is a 15, I believe it's a 14 and 15 only on this um, for the crash module. But yeah, so the only thing that I'm lacking for front end wise, uh, bumper cover, the hood, and obviously the fender. I do need to get a fender for this because with a new fender, um, you know, obviously we can use that fender to line everything up. We'll put the, put the core support put the fender on and we'll get the hood and make sure everything lines up in the hood shuts and latches so but yeah this is going to be a, a pretty decent rebuild um, it's not going to be anything spectacular we're not rebuilding up for putting back on the road that you know that'll make somebody decent transportation it's a 70,000 mile car it's a 2015 you know and so at the end of the day you know probably looking about seven to 7,500 for this car with it fixed based on the, the comps in my area, what I see these things going for. You know, this is nothing spectacular. It's not a, a spectacular rebuild. We're not doing anything high-end like, you know, Goon Squad, Alex Rebuilds, you know. People like them, they're doing high-end cars. They do nice cars. Unfortunately, I don't have the piggy bank like they do to buy these cars, okay? But what I will do is I'll, I will sell that truck and we will go ahead and use the cash from that truck to buy another newer truck. And then we can keep doing that until we get a nice bankroll at the end of the day. You know, but buying these cheap cars, you know, these cheap cars, you know, they, they, they turn a decent profit. And plus two, they're newer. So somebody can get into something new, but they're not spending a fortune on a new car. So... But I really appreciate you guys joining me here today. Um, if you like these type of videos, um, please like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for the next video on this car when we'll start uh, in the next rebuild series. We're going to start disassembling the front end here on this car. So this way we can get all these parts um, and just kind of get everything categorized and see what else we need. So I really appreciate everybody joining me here. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.